I have been watching the media and I just got off the phone with a friend and he was telling me how skewed the media is on the left. So I decided to clip out a portion of some right wing media and that's what you're about to see. You tell me. This is hilarious. Harris campaign on the vice president's lack of interviews. Watch this. What's on the vice president's schedule today? Uh, While well, she's traveling and talking to voters and getting her message out there to the American people, something that she's been doing from the very start of this campaign. I was asking about today, and I don't think she's got any campaign events on the schedule today, does she? Well, she and Governor Walls have been traveling across the country. They hit nearly every battleground state last week. It seems like she has time, if she wanted, to do an interview uh, with a member of the media or do a news conference, correct? There does appear to be that time, if she wanted. Well, look, she has said on the campaign trail that she would be doing an interview at some point. Caroline, what about that? What is Kamala Harris afraid of? Why won't she sit down with any reporter or, or, or answer questions about what her platform is? Yikes. Well, I'm sure she was off the campaign trail because she was busy plagiarizing another one of President Trump's policies. As you mentioned, she's yet to release a policy platform. The only platform she's released is copying ours. I mean, I knew President Trump's policies were popular. I just didn't know they were that popular with Kamala Harris, uh, who's a plagiarizer like the kid in school that leans over and cheats off of your homework. But you make an excellent point. And it's actually because I think the liberal mainstream media is completely complicit in this. I think they act on TV as if they're shocked she hasn't sat down and taken a tough question. They know the answers to why she won't sit down, do a tough interview, do a press conference like the one President Trump did last week where he took questions for over an hour, no teleprompter needed. They know the answer to that question. Yeah. And they know the answer to that question is that if she has to, the castle is going to crumble because she's a flip-flopper on every policy position she's ever had. She's also wildly inauthentic and she's dangerously liberal. And when she has to confront that truth, her poll numbers are going to continue to sink and the bottom's going to fall out. Well, and they just can't have that for their chosen protected candidate. And, and right now, to that point, Todd Pyro, the uh, Kamala Harris campaign is telling Fox that there will be no push for Medicare for all. Uh, this is coming directly from the vice president, this aide says, who in the past has strongly supported Medicare for all, even co-sponsoring Bernie Sanders' Medicare for All Act. Watch this, Todd. I support Medicare for all I always have, but I wanted to make the plan better, which I did. So under my Medicare for all plan, people have the choice of a private plan or a public plan because that's what people want. Access to affordable health care should not be a privilege, it should be a right. You support uh, the Medicare for All bill, I think, initially co-sponsored co by Senator Bernie Sanders. You're also a co-sponsor yes. on, on to And the idea is that everyone gets access to medical care. And you don't have to go through the process of going through an insurance company. Let's eliminate all of that. Let's move on. Who here would abolish their private health insurance in favor of a government-run plan? Yeah. <laughs> all right. There you go, Chad. Jump in. Okay, but if you're watching Fox Business or Fox News, you see that contrast. You yeah. see that split screen. If you're watching any other media, you're probably not seeing that. So my question to you, Caroline, is what is the strategy to combat this dual-headed monster, a Kamala who's clearly doing basement 2.0 so she doesn't get herself caught up in anything, and combating the media, which is not going to you know, put her feet to the fire in any way, shape, or form. That's the first part. The They're second not going to do Trump any favors, that's for sure. Yeah, and, and to Maria's point earlier, where are the rest of the Republicans trying to campaign for the president, acting as surrogates, making this point when they go on mainstream media? Well, you make an excellent point. As we know, when you run as the anti-establishment candidate for president, you are never just running against the Democrat Party nominee. You are running against the liberal mainstream media that operates as the PR operation and really the whole swamp apparatus. And that's why when President Trump came down the escalator in 2015, his message was so compelling of draining the swamp. And you have to continue to do that. What we plan to do is what you saw just a couple of days ago when President Trump sat down with Elon Musk on X. Look, the good news is that the liberal mainstream media doesn't have the trust of the American people. They haven't for a long time. Time. Those ratings on CNN, the only time they spike is when President